We just arrived in Jaipur, India, and I heard that this is a very special city. We're going to be meeting a guide, Shaleb, who's going to tell us all about it. So he's just over here. Jaipur is a place where culture equals. The traditions speak, beauty enthralls, and diversity delights you. Wow. It's a city of fantastic festivals and charming ceremonies, celebrated with great deal of zeal and enthusiasm, and almost a gateway to the desert where the wind sings and the sand shifts. Wow. So here you see that thousands of years of old culture rubbing its shoulders with 21st century luxury where these modern cars and camels and cows and elephants they all coexist on the streets together here. i can see that it's a wonderful it's a very vibrant city You know, the last two pools that we've been fishing here on the lower Tirtan are pools that if you were fly fishing or even spin fishing, you could literally spend all day fishing, half a day at the one pool up above. Look at the size of this pool. It's huge, it's probably about uh, 70 yards long. And uh, almost every cast I've had a fish on, nice little brown, come on, come on, come on, he's still thrashing around. He's small, but he's got lots of energy. Remember, we're using four pound test. Okay, so we get him in, nice and calm. I'm gonna put the rod down. You're gonna get a nice look at the fish. Look at that pretty brown. So he's about uh, 11 inches. Beautiful light markings. And that mesh is very soft, so it's not hurting him at all. Okay, got him in the water. I'm gonna try to just get the hook with the hemostat. You know, the nice thing about the hemostats is that they clamp down. So right now they're locked. Okay, now just a shake. The hook should fall out. It's just on a very small fiber right there. Okay, so he wasn't hooked deep. And I'll give you one more look because these are such beautiful fish. And then he's gonna slide out of the cradle. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful brown? Beautiful fish. Right here in Himachal Pradesh. And the fishing is so good here that you can catch one trout after the other. We've got a great morning here on the Turtan River. We're in Himachal Pradesh in northern India. And you can see the beautiful scenery that we are here. We're at about 7,000 feet above sea level. So it's amazing. The sun has come out. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. And Barb's got the first fish on. What we're doing is fishing ultralights this morning. And uh, I think Barb got hers on a little rapala. So we're fishing for brown trout that were stocked here a long time ago. We might catch a rainbow, but it's mostly browns that we're going after. This is a beautiful fish, Barb. I'm just going to let it thrash a little bit. I don't want it to get off. Look at the energy that they've got. There's so many runs and pools in this river system that you can fish. Look at how gorgeous that fish looks in this sunlight. It's so soft this morning, and you can see that little rapella. That's a countdown one, and it's a brown trout color. It is excellent for small trout if you're fishing streams just like this, like the Turtan River. So that's a beautiful fish, Barbara. It is. Barbara, I'm going to just put it back in the water and I'm going to get my hemostats out that are hanging right here. Look at how beautiful that brown is, Barbara. Look at all the spots. Yeah, they're beautiful spots. He wasn't hooked deep, but he was hooked well. So I'm going to try to take one hook out at a time, keeping him in the water. One. Hey, that was perfect, Barb. Look, one more hook. Yes. Tell you what, these hemostats come in handy. Two. Look at it. Gorgeous. It's going to hold him up a little bit. And here he goes. Look at how they blend in, Barb, with the bottom. Yeah, they do. Fisher girl! Catch a passion! Patalo, do you know that there's more bass tournaments won on this simple lure? I know, it's a very good lure. This is known as a spinner bait, and actually it's a quarter ounce spinner bait. Mm -hmm. What makes it so effective is behind us here, I can work this whole shoreline, and if there's a bass here, there's a good chance I'm going to catch yeah. it. And if you look here at the hook, it's a single hook, mm -hmm. which means that I'm going to get a good hook set in there. Good. 
and then also you can probably take the hook out a lot easier than working with treble. Now you're holding a quarter ounce. This yes. is a little eighth ounce spinner bait. Yes. A lot of people just think that spinner baits are for bigger fish, and they are. You can catch, you know, a big muskie on that, or bass, walleye, all kinds of species of fish. But with a little spinner bait like this, an eighth ouncer, you can also get some huge panfish, mm -hmm. especially crappie. They love sometimes spinner baits, especially in the summertime. So these are actually very safe lures too. So if you're fishing with young people and they want to use a lure, instead of using a lure with two or three trebles or a heavy spoon that somebody can get clocked in the head when they're casting, a spinnerbait is a very good option.